Hey everybody, it's Kiwik Tom. I've finished recording Duke Nukem, so that means it's time to vote for the next PlayStation 1 B-side. So your first option is Rayman. Rayman is a gorgeous, colourful game with fantastic music and fun platforming. And it's also really, really difficult. Um, don't let the cutesy look of it fill you. Um, by the end of this game, you typically break two or three controllers out of rage. Um, yeah, it gets very hard very quickly. Um, I think this one... This wouldn't be my top choice for the next game to play. This one will take a lot of time, a lot of editing, a lot of effort. Hey, a one-up. Um, but... But, if you want to see me struggle even more during the week, this is what you vote for. Um, the way I'm going to play this game, if this is voted, uh, I'm going to take an unusual strategy. I'm not going to play the levels in the usual order. Uh, I'm going to actually play it as a speedrunner would. So I'm going to basically race until you get one of the later abilities, which allows you to play the game much faster, and then backtrack and start getting 100% in the levels. Now the reason why 100% is important in this game is because you actually can't face the final boss unless you've 100%ed the game up to that point. Which is collecting all the chests as you can see on the screen now. So uh, yeah, this one could be a lot of fun, could be a lot of pain. Um, one of the reasons I actually don't want to play this yet is that I, I really want, I wish Raukau would play this game blind. Because uh, I think he'd have a good time, and by he having a good time, we would have a good time. Um, yeah, believe me, it gets very hard very quick. Uh, okay, so, I think we're coming up to the next option. Uh, there is a bit of graphical glitchiness, but I will obviously have that sorted out um, for next time. Right, option number two! Medieval. Medieval is one of my favourite games from my childhood. This is, this is the opening screen, look how nice this is. Look how it sounds. So, Medieval is set in the medieval times. It's a very gothic game. You play as a skeleton, uh, Sir Daniel Fortescue, and your job is to rescue the realm of Galomir from a new evil, uh, the evil Lord Zarok. This game is wonderfully gothic, it's beautiful, it has fantastic orchestral music, um, but the game doesn't take itself so seriously, it has a great sense of humour, a very morbid sense of humour, because we're dealing with themes of death and destruction and yeah, so this, ultimately, this is just, these are opening cutscenes here. Uh, there's our evil Lord Zarok flicking through his spellbook. Um, he's going to go on a rampage. He's going to go and bring the dead back to life. So yes, this is a zombie game. Uh, and everything comes to life. So it's a hack and slash, yeah? Here's our protagonist, Sir Daniel Fortescue. He's a skeller man. Um, yeah, I, I really enjoy this game. Uh, as well, just to make this interesting for those who may have seen this game before or played it when they were younger, I'm thinking of playing this game uh, slightly differently. So, during this game you can get more and more powerful weapons by collecting chalices, and you get chalices by killing all the enemies. I will 100% the game and get all the chalices, and I will collect the weapons in the Hall of Heroes, but I will play this game using just the short sword, whatever shields you can pick up, uh, with like whatever weapons you can find lying around and obviously the throwing daggers so I, I don't know if that's even possible but, like especially in the later levels we have enemies where even the strongest weapons take they take quite a few hits um so yeah let me know what you think of that and uh, next option tomorrow never dies um this is a pinnacle of playstation 1 graphics just wait and see um, I don't think there'll be any copyright issues playing this game. There are cutscenes, but they're in boxes and they're super low quality, so I don't think any of the YouTube robots will see you. But yeah, anyway, we play as 007 uh, in the Pierce Brosnan time. Where is he? Where is he? There's our pixelated Pierce Brosnan. He's made a couple of pixels, a few textures. Uh, don't let the 007 thing fool you. He's from Navin in Ireland, uh, Pierce Brosnan. Um, yeah, no, he would no. Um, so anyway, this is run, shoot, shoot some more, occasionally use snipers. Um, there are some stealth elements in this game. By what you mean, if you're not stealthy, you're just going to get shot a whole lot and you'll die. Uh, it's lots of fun, it's not too long a game. Um, yeah, there'll be explosions, there'll be crazy action sequences like this. Um, that make no sense whatsoever. Um, yeah, so 007. 
Tomorrow Never Dies is one of the options for this vote. And there's... That's how you exit. Although I think Pierce Brosnan should have an Irish flag. And last but not least... Yeah. Earthworm Jim 2! Uh, so only this Monday during Raukau's uh, Patreon video thing in particular, uh, I learned that Earthworm Jim number two was ported to the PlayStation 1 so that not just you know the graphics and some of the levels but the music as well there's really high quality versions of the music uh, in this game now this game will be played pretty much entirely blind the only bits that aren't blind are the bits you see in this preview that I recorded um, so yeah um, when I was very young I think I played this a little bit uh, on a Sega Sega Saturn that's one of the discs um, but it was only ever visiting Cousin's House and I was super young, so I have no recollection of any of this game whatsoever. Um, but it's Earthworm Jim. Now, if I was playing this game, I would actually put on the Earthworm Jim thing, the persona. I would be shouting, eat dirt, foul fiends, and all that sort of stuff that Earthworm Jim would say in the TV show. I, I, it would be great. Um, I don't think I could pull off... Uh, Earthworm Jim's crazy scream. I might have to edit in Dan Keston a little bit. Well, the guy who does voices Homer Simpson was the one who vo voiced Earthworm Jim in the TV series. Anyway, I would do the full shtick of uh, acting absolutely insane. Um, oh, listen to that. It's uh, Lorenzo Soil. Beautiful music. Uh, so yeah, this would be a blind run, and I think it could be a lot of fun. So uh, I need you to have all your votes in by Sunday. Talk to you then.